I'm excited to be here. Uh, so excited I brought my own cheering squad earlier. I think many of you met them. They're willing to travel too if you'd like to take them along with you. Um, but, but no, it, it is for me uh, such a pleasure and a privilege to be here representing McDonald's. And, and when we talk about McDonald's, we talk about the McDonald's system. Uh, and what we mean by that is, is we have an expression, the three-legged stool because McDonald's is really the coming together of company employees, our franchisees, uh, and our suppliers. And so I'm lucky tonight that we have representatives uh, from all three of those groups here. Uh, and it's my privilege to, to represent the work that they're doing. Um, I also want to acknowledge you met John, uh, who is one of my board members, also Kathy Engelbert, uh, commissioner of the WNBA, who's also uh, on our board. Uh, want to acknowledge and thank them for being here as well. So you probably know McDonald's as one of the world's uh, great global brands, but what you may not appreciate, but what's so core to our DNA is we are, at our heart, a local brand. And the genius of what Ray Kroc created when he created McDonald's was a business and a brand that was rooted in the local community. It was why he believed so passionately in franchisees owning our restaurants at the local level because his insight was that that local connection was gonna be far more powerful than trying to run a network of restaurants, uh, what now is 40,000 restaurants with two million people uh, across the world in our system. And so that, that idea of being rooted in the local community is core to who we are. And it's what allows us to do what I'm so proud to be up here and representing. And, when you think about the ways that we show up in the local community, one of the things that we started years ago, McDonald's buys about $50 billion of goods and services uh, annually across the world. Many decades ago, we had the idea of let's use our purchasing scale to actually support local, owner op lo local businesses, local farmers. And so we have, uh, for decades, been invested in the local community and having our suppliers uh, be those local farmers, being those local suppliers. We also, years ago, got on to the idea of using our buying power to help put in business diverse suppliers across our system. And John knows full well uh, the idea of business diversity is core to what we do. It also shows up in how we see ourselves not just as a restaurant company, but as an educational institution. You know, one of my favorite comments that I think about with McDonald's is Charlie Munger. Some of you may know Charlie as being, you know, uh, Warren Buffett's uh, sidekick. But Warren Buffett uh, or Charlie um, described McDonald's as the second greatest educational institution in the world after the U.S. military. And when you think about what we do, we are at our core an educational institution. The two million people that work in our restaurants. Uh, the training, the job uh, opportunities that we're creating for them. Uh, we run Hamburger University, which typically brings about 50,000 people a year uh, through our training programs that we go out. Uh, and they learn not just about how to make a better burger, delicious french fries, uh, but they're also learning job skills, skills for life. And I get a treat whenever I go around and I meet people, uh, the number of people that tell me that they started their career working in a McDonald's and the skills that they learned in McDonald's and how those have carried on across their career for me is just incredible privilege. It also shows up in where McDonald's is able to do things at the local level that are difficult for other companies that don't have those roots. And for us, that was no more more evident than it was during COVID, uh, where we were doing things, our drive throughs for example, in many of our countries around the world, we were selling bread and milk and butter out of our drive through uh, We weren't selling burgers and french fries. We were selling core staples because we were accessible. The benefit of McDonald's is 80% of the population is within five miles of a McDonald's. And so using that as we can serve in our communities uh, is incredibly powerful. It also shows up in how we do things with the Ronald McDonald House. We have 350 Ronald McDonald House charities around the world 
Uh, last year, we hosted families with sick children in hospitals. Uh, and it was two million nights, two million free nights that we provided to parents with sick kids around the world. And then lastly, certainly we feel a tremendous obligation uh, as, as a company rooted in the land uh, on climate change, because I think climate change for us is, and for our generation, is probably the most existential issue that we confront. And so we have uh, been working with a lot of our suppliers uh, around not just making commitments, but figuring out how do we do things like regenerative agriculture? How do we take out waste uh, from our packaging? How do we find all the things that we're going to need to do along the way to take us to a net zero future? So for me as CEO, I would tell you, and, and I think for other CEOs that uh, are here in the audience, you know, you know, none of this happens by anything that I do. It happens by the power and the benefit of everything that the people that work in our system. I just get the privilege of being up here and representing them and, and acknowledging their achievements. But for me, you know, when you get to a certain stage in your career, you do start to wonder, what is this all about? Am I actually going to be making a difference? Um, and for me, I will tell you, I have found my purpose at McDonald's. What we're doing at this company is extraordinary, and I am proud to be here to accept this award. So thank you very much.